So, both of you have vowed to be silent. I can see you've made up your mind to be very silent. But you know what? No matter what it takes, no matter how long it might be, you will talk and you will confess. Now tell me, why would you be against my father's wish? My prince, your father's wish was Idika, your brother. He has always been the one after his heart. Enough of those lies! Enough! What do you take me for? You doubt? Huh? Oh no. Let me refresh your memory on how you complained so bitterly to my father about it because continued absence in the things of the palace and how we can never be able to let the rules. And my father said something so significant to you. Something very, very significant. He said something to you. So, oh no. Oh no. Could you please tell us what my father said to you? Oh, maybe I'll help you. He said something outrightly to you. That the Dika could not be able to ascend the throne. And he further informed you on his desire to prepare me for the throne. So what happened? So you think making this up will make you the king? I need to think again because the throne belongs to me. And you know the throne is not meant for you. You know the truth. I can prove it to you. Yeah. I can prove it to you. I can really, really prove it to you. Oh no. Can you confess now? My prince, there's nothing to confess about. That's all right. Since you do not want to confess before me, probably you are going to confess for the counsel of the elders. I am well prepared. Yeah. Misha! Both. Torture them. My friend, greetings. You sent for me. I wanted to know if there has been any news about the disappearance of my husband and Onowu. I thought the elders are making arrangements. Huh? I thought they're making arrangements with the police. Are they just sitting down there doing nothing about it? 
On the contrary, Your Majesty, we are waiting to get information from the police. And there's none yet. It looks as if they disappeared to the thin air. And everybody in the community is complaining. We are not comfortable with the situation too. Yet the main culprit is in this palace, living her life out, enjoying, huh? I swear with my life that she is responsible for my husband's kidnap. With the, your majesty, are you sure of what you are saying? Hundred percent sure. And she needs to be called for question. Coming from, you better go back to that place Abby, now. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is wrong with you? Eh? We have not seen each other for a very long time. Instead of you to welcome me with open arms, you, you are here acting up. Did you, 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 you see me in your dream? Yes. Yes, Nkeji. I saw you in my dream. So you are the witch. You are the witch. Eh? Nkeji, leave this place. Abby, what are you place? talking about? Eh? Is it not me that I encourage you to come and walk in this place? Eh? Why are you accusing me wrongly? Agbi, I'm very, very disappointed in you. Eh? You're disappointed in me? Yes. I am disappointed in you also. Leave this place, madam. You better leave this place. Leave this Agbi, place. Agbi, wait. I will go. But I know one day, one day you'll come back to your senses. <laughs> Look at who he's talking. I am in my senses. I am in my senses. Look at you. I am in my right senses. Go. Let me know who, who is eating of my destiny. See, this is preposterous. How can anyone accuse me of masterminding the kidnap of Prince Idika and Ono? How? Lydia. Lydia. Really? This is how low you can go? You did it. <laughs> Don't even deny that. <laughs> You threatened that my husband will not sit on the throne of Islam Kingdom. Hmm. Foolish assumption. Enough! We are not here to argue or to try to apportion blames here and there. We are here to make sure that whoever that disrupts our traditional procession must be punished. Princess Oleg. We have already established a witness who confirmed that you made a suspicious call and Latin the adopters. So you tell us, where are your co-travelers holding the crown prince? And you know, tell us where they are. Here. Yeah. Everybody should settle down.
My others, I greet you all. I believe you have questions to ask. And they will all be answered by me. Yes, there are questions. But the traditional passage right must be concluded to avoid regrettable consequences. To avoid the avoidable consequences. The disaster must first be averted. Oh no, I guess you have something to say. Oh no, what is he talking about? There's an adage that says, the only woman who knows where her husband goes at night is a widow. So, we all have to listen to him. Hey. It's going to be a very difficult assignment. He has concluded and decided on your company. All because of your past records in other communities. And he has also refused to endorse your exploration in a summer kingdom. Professor, yes, we are willing to make amends. Especially where it concerns the Sama Kingdom. We will carry out our corporate and social responsibilities with utmost care. Sure. Affecting lives positively. Also, your pockets will be greased. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh no, we'll think about what you stand to gain in this deal. Your children, all of them, they deserve a better life from the resources gotten from their heritage. Hmm? We're talking about millions. We are out and ready to change your life. To help you. You will not stress yourself again. Yeah. Money will be flowing. Huh? We will take care of your children, take care of you. I'm not sure about that. Your father is strong will. And very difficult to change his stance. Especially when he has made his final decisions. But I hear you are his most confident person. Alright, let me lay down my offer to you. Five million if you're willing to convince him to consider our investment proposition. And upon signing the dotted lines, three million naira every month for you. And to cap it all, our company is willing to take care of your overall well-being. Mm -hmm. Oh no, your overall well-being. And that's not all. It includes your medical trips abroad. Uh, we are serious. Hmm. All His Majesty has to do is to sign the document to our investment proposition. And everybody goes home happy. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we have seen that um, I am not playing. I am not mincing words when I said the future is bright. Right? All you need to do is talk to my father. Convince my father. Let's get this done. He's going to sign it. I will try my best. The offer is something else. Uh -huh. Have you suddenly lost it or no? I would have walked you out of this palace if not that I hold in high esteem as you know of this kingdom. Now let me ask you, have you forgotten all that we read about this evil oil company that frustrated their host community, thereby contaminating all the rivers, killing all the fishes? Now tell me, is it not a bad news? Your Majesty, they have all equally built schools, roads, even have installed steady power supply to them. We crave for such amenities in this, our kingdom. Oh no. Okay, can why? And I didn't enjoy. Not to the detriment of my good people. 
<sighs> but we want such amenities here in this land. It will improve the life of our people. You will also receive the glory. I have made my decisions. I cannot endorse anything that will nail the destinies of my people to the world. And for clarification's sake, that company is a disaster. But... Oh, oh no, I am done with this discussion, please. I'm okay with it. Okay. It's okay. My prince, mm. I told you it was going to be a third mission. And now, I betrayed your father's trust. No. Oh no, we need to work harder. Hmm? Put in a little more pressure, and my father will give in. It's very simple. And please, I'm tired of trying. Why don't you try yourself? What, why don't you do this yourself? No, no. Now I know my father. He can easily read the handwriting on the wall. I do not want him to suspect me. I do not want him to see me as over serious and irresponsible child. I'm taking it easy with him. Huh? Oh, no. Besides, you will. Uh, you will gain more from this deal. You know that, right? No, Prince, you are using me for a, your dirty deal. Please, I don't want to try anymore. Do that yourself. What? I'm not doing it again. Hey, stop it. Don't tell me you're back enough. Huh? Stop behaving like a woman. Don't tell me you're giving up already. I, I, I don't want to hear that from you. Okay? Miss Bimbo awaits answers from us, and we cannot fail to deliver. Opportunity comes but once, and you know it. Prince Idika, I do not want to argue with you. Please. Okay, okay. Fine. Why don't we try the unconventional way? I mean, you talking to my mother, you know, she's so fond of you. Huh? Talk to her. Liaise with her. Convince her. She have her way with my father, so she will handle the deal. My mother is so fond of you. Huh? How do you mean? <laughs> and I will stop. You know exactly what I mean. You know, no, talk to my mother and get your way, right? I'll see you next time. What kind of, what, what, what kind of prince is this? Pushing me to the wall. And now he's bringing his mother into the show. So, no, you want me to talk to the king to endorse the company? Yes, it will benefit the whole of this kingdom. Even the royal palace, I can see a very big opportunity for our people. It will mean a lot to Prince Edeka, who is going to be the next king. Uh, it's okay. I've heard you. Hmm? I will talk to the king concerning your request. But before doing that, there is something you must know. And um, what is that? Edeka. Yes? It's your son. What? Yes. How? Edeka can be possibly my son. If his royal highness got to hear this, it will mean a public disgrace. And the car will be thrown out of this palace and this owned. Can't you understand that? <laughs> no. Why are you shaking? I mean, why are you vibrating? Tell me. Nobody knows about it. And how long do you intend keeping this secret? 
Somebody somewhere will find out. <laughs> no. See, let me tell you something. It is only a woman that knows who the real father of her unborn child is. Do you hear me? Don't worry. I will talk to the king concerning your request. Okay? Hopefully, he will endorse the company. Hey. Your Majesty, I... There is no point explaining. I overheard everything. You know, I have had these suspicions from onset. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, have you reached a verdict on who to name your successor? Yes, I choose Udoka. Your Majesty, people will ask questions about the paternity of Idika. I have decided, and you, Ono, will lead that procession to present Udoka to Imobi. I cannot shame my wife by bringing this report to this kingdom. I have decided, and my choice is final. No one can question the choice of the king. But, Your Majesty. Oh, no. Idika can only stay in the palace and enjoy all the privilege of royalty. Any day he oversteps his boundary, he will be thrown out of the palace and make sure that my words are followed to the letter. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. That is not true. This is so wrong. Honey, please do not believe all this lies from the pit of hell. Come off it. Speak to me. What have they done to you? Is Udoka blackmailing you? Talk to me. They are right. I always knew I wasn't king. Udega's son. <sighs> Reason I fought. I fought for the throne. And I swear I wanted to endorse the oil company because I needed to secure our future. They are right. This is not happening. No! You all are out of your mind. If you think I am going to buy this idea, never! I will not buy this drama. I won't. Honey, they are all out of their mind. They don't know what they are saying. My elders, the ball is in your court. I believe you know what is good to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, what is the food I asked you to bring now? So it's only food that will make you behave like this. Eh, Afonni? What do you mean by if it's only food that will make me behave like this? Or bring on a onion royal Eh? If you are so hungry, you know the kitchen, you come and meet me there. Stop disturbing my life, Abuese. Stop disturbing my life. Don't disturb me. Come on, go back. Leave me alone. Come on, go back. Don't leave me alone, Joe. What's wrong, sir? If you touch me, if you touch me, so you let me tell you, the hungry man is an angry man. The hungry man is an angry man. We go, come on, go. Oh, 
How could you? Tell me. Oh, how could you have been so weak? Allowing that devil to take your place as king. Now tell me. Was the gun held to your head? Huh? Oh no, who blew the lead? He couldn't stand it. Now I'm left with nothing. No! I said no! That is a big lie. There is no how we are going to let them take that throne away from us. Tell them what you have me do. Answer me, what would you have me do? Eh? Because I'm confused. I do not know what else to do. That is all he ever wanted. Oh yes, that is all he ever wanted and he won. He won! I'm confused. We cannot give them that satisfaction. Do you understand me? I will rather die than sit and watch the slimy princess take what rightfully belongs to me. Never! Never! My son, you should always remember who you are. Ah, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a lion bark like a dog? No, father. Or a dog roar like a lion? Um, this is because the lion is a fire. The lion is a passion that lives in the heart of a brave man. But, Father, what are all these things about uh, these parable and sermons of lion and all that? Sometimes I hear people call you a buago. Most of times, anyway. But I'm still clueless on what you're getting at. Um, it will come handy someday. Uh, always remember that the lion always sets its eyes on the prey. You see, when you build in silence, people do not know where to attack you from. Always remember that, okay? A son of a lion must be a lion. So let's go. Father, I don't understand why I should be made to see or why the guy is still the eldest. He should be in charge. Do not tell me you don't want to take up to this challenge. Why do you want your elder brother to take up to this challenge? 
Uh, father, nothing, but it's expected of him to be the CEO of the company and I, a board member. Listen, the company in question is my company. I can do whatever I want to do with it. So you should take up the mantle and be the chief executive officer of the company. Father, Idika is... He is still on vacation. So you should. Um, I think I am done with this discussion, my son. I don't know why you should... Look. My lord, is everything all right? I... I didn't know you were still awake. Everything is all right. I'm just recalling my... last moment with my father. You know... He was actually preparing me for the throne, but I never knew. I thought he hated me. You know, at first I thought I was not welcome here. But I'm glad everything has been put to rest. And soon the people of this kingdom will have their king. And also their queen. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Thank you for sticking by me. <laughs> no. Thank you for being a patient and loving husband to me. I love you, you know that, right? I love you more. <laughs> Okay, baby, let's go to bed. You need to sleep. The king needs to look fresh and healthy for his people. Blocking my way. Obidia. Which that? Are you pushing me out from my house? Of course. Why? Ah. Obidia, why? You are cheating on me. Cheating on you? All this while, you have been in a secret affair with the with the queen. Eh? Ungrateful man like you. You will not enter this house. Secret affair with the queen? Mm. And um you will, you will oh, not oh, oh, what about it? What about it? Okay. Okay, well, let me get I can go, go to the bed and sleep. Oh, you think I'm joking? Abby, dear. You better go back to where you're coming from. I don't want to beat you up. Bro. Beat me? I don't want to beat you up. Bro. You better beat me this time. Abby, dear. <laughs> Abby, dear. For what? Go, go, go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Abby, dear. Abby, dear. I don't, I don't want to lose it on you. I don't want to be violent. You better lose it. 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 You lose it. You better 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 lose it. Go! You better go to the morgue and look for a queen. Oh no, woman! Go! Go and sleep. Go back to that place. You're not entering this house today. Could you believe that this woman locked me out of, out of this house yesterday? I slept in the dark, in the cold, yesterday. This woman. 
Have you people been quarreling? You say quarreling? She she heard about Idika. This house has refused to contain both of us. And it will never mm. ever contain us. It will not contain us until you give me the reason why you cheated on me. You're not ashamed of yourself. Sleeping with the king's wife, eh? As old as she is, you're not ashamed. Okay, no, no. Osa. In a very young woman, give you fellow name, Maggie. I drop madam. You see this your house? I'm a tiny uncle. You don't contain us, so it will not contain us. Are you here? You heard what she said. In case if anything happened to me, uh huh. Please, you people should hold her responsible. Eba, eba, eba. Bigger. Two of you should calm down. I'm not coming down, Chono. I'm not. I'm not coming down. Two of you should calm down. Huh? You see, who you know, you shouldn't have gone to the extent you went. You see. Allow this matter to lie for now. Eh? Please. It's your Please. It's your I've not you. started. I've not started. Hey, hey! I've not started. This man, I've raised one mother. I've raised one mother. I've raised one mother. I've one mother. Hmm. It's one mother. Nah. Why have you raised Are you a saint? When I came to marry you, were you not having a baby girl? Who got that baby girl? Was it me? No, you have not been meeting people. Man, it's only me. I welcome this woman, even with this atrocity, with all my heart. With all my heart. And in my case, she wants to burn down the house. Was that the reason why you cheated on me? With that old woman? I'll wait for I'm going to forgive. You don't talk I'm when I'm forgive. talking. When I'm talking, you don't talk. This woman respect me for what? You have not seen anything, no. Hey! You have not seen anything, no. Munyo no. Munyo no. Biko. Oh no. This matter should be rested for now. Please. You know we are running late for where we are going to. Please, can you go inside and get dressed? Will she accept that we are going for a meeting? Will she ever believe that it is not for just a woman? Am I sure you're going to a meeting, sir? Maybe you're going to sneak out of the queen. No. Mm. You can see? Yes. I don't want. Eh, hey, Epola. I don't want it. What's up? It might be sweet to you now, but I'm the wrong one. Okay, look what you need. I'm well, you kiss up the sun. You have not prepared for the kitchen. Knowing fully well what today represents. Ah, my queen, we are having a true king today. Yes. Do you know why I'm happy? Because there will be food, 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 food all over. There will be merriment all over. All over the palace. Yes. See, but, but please, my queen, I will not like any of you. You sent me to an error. Please, I want to start my holiday today so that I will have enough time to enjoy it, eat all the eatable. That collected your, your sugar from you. Going for that ceremony. Never! They conspired and took what actually belongs to you. Stand up for your rights. Wake up! I want you to know that I cannot fight to stop what is meant to be. Oh, yes. I have decided to shoot my sword. Remember, I am not the king's son. 
even though I have all the privileges attached to it. You should be grateful, right? There has never been any blood shed and I'm not going to be the one that will start it. So, get ready. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. You didn't say that, right? I am not going anywhere. Uh -uh. Hey, 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 hey. I want you to know one thing. I am not going down this lane with you. So, go get dressed. Join me downstairs. Did you hear what I said? I am not going anywhere. You didn't say that, right? You heard me. I am not going hey, anywhere. Shut up. <gasps> shut up. <gasps> Next five minutes, you didn't dress up and join us downstairs. Leave me alone. I will steal your life. No, go and dress up. Come on, go and dress up. What? What? What is the meaning of this? What do you think you are doing? Don't you have respect? Oh no, we here doesn't deserve our respect. He has brought cost upon the throne of our kingdom. And we will never respect him. This is preposterous. Huh? What have you just done? Asagini. This is an abomination. He has committed more than an abomination. And we're going to make his life so miserable that he will run out from this kingdom. Let's go. Oh no. Don't mind them. Don't listen to them. Let's go somewhere so that I will help clean you up. Huh? Let's go. It's your honor. Go home. Let me go home. Oh no. I'm going back. Go, 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 go. Let me go. Oh no. Oh no! A hungry belly has no ears If it do me today Tomorrow of it be my tongue My tongue A hungry belly has no ears If it do me today Are you ready? My love, I'm nervous. You are nervous? Yeah. On a day you have always dreamed about all your life, you are nervous. <sighs> Sweetheart, I know how you feel. I know exactly what is going on in your mind. Because I felt the same way on our wedding day. I wasn't too sure if I wanted to marry you. I was confused. I was nervous too. But do you know what I did? I stood in front of the mirror in my room that fateful morning and I looked at the person in the mirror and I asked myself a question is this what you want then I thought about every good thing people had said about you I said to myself I will marry this man because I'm marrying the best man in the world. The most compassionate of them all. And um, 
A very handsome man. So we're here now. <laughs> so I would like you to go out there, my dear husband. And meet your people. Do you regret marrying me? <laughs> my lord. You know, sometimes you can be very funny. <laughs> if I regret it, I will not be here. We will not be having this conversation, don't you think so? You know, right? Now listen. Because I will like you to go out there and make your people proud. And also make your beautiful wife proud. Hmm. I do not know how to do that. I've never been a king before. Prince Udoka Udinga. Do you know how to do it? And do you know how I know you know how to do it? Because you were born for a moment like this. This is why you were brought into this world. From the day you were born, you knew how to do it. And you will go out there and you will do us all proud. Because the moment you step out there, you will know how to do it. Mm. Mm. Oh no. King Udoka of Esemakenda. The son of King Odinga the late. The great grandson of Akataka champion. May you live long. You're welcome. Day is the D-Day. Your people are wet, sir. Shall we? Hello. Your Majesty. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your coronation. Thank you so much. It was a wonderful occasion. <laughs> yeah. I think I've completed my duty to make sure you are home safely. Yes, you did. I should be on my way now. Thank you so much. My friend, congratulations. Thank you. Very good, Sky. Thank you. Wow. My king. I never knew it would come out like this. <laughs> I knew. You know, I, I was so it. nervous. I was sweating. <laughs> <laughs> but your encouraging words strengthened me. I told you. Yeah, you said it. You were born for this. This is what you're born for. You know, to when do. I was there, it was ringing in my mind. You were born for this. <laughs> you were born for this. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. You are this long. Detective. Welcome. To what do I owe this visit? Well, Your Majesty, it is my job to discharge my duties without fear of favor. By bringing criminal perpetrators to book, no matter whose ox is God. Officer, bring him in. What? Okoro. What is going on? Why are you being arrested by the police? Well, Your Majesty, you are under arrest for the murder of King Odinga of his Zanga kingdom. Detective. 
How dare you accuse my wife of killing my father? That is not acceptable. That is the truth, Your Majesty. I have just returned from an errand by the king. sleep and I brave up to tell Prince Uduka what I saw. that the king's death was not ordinary. Silence! You do not have any right to speak in my presence. Tell me this is not true. All I do, speak to me. Did you kill my father? Did you kill my father? <laughs> 